Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Rolling Through Life. My name is Wanda, and it's time for a daily devotion. Today is January 22nd, 2019, and the read for today is 1 John 3, and the title is Channels of Love. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of, light of thy countenance. Psalms 89:15. Jaden lay on the cool grass and pondered the verse above. What does it take to bring joy into Christian living? That evening, Jade strolled across the pasture and approached Grandpa with his question. Grandpa began, Have you ever wondered why the Sea of Galilee and the Dead Sea are so different, even though both are fed by the Jordan River? He explained that the Sea of Galilee is a freshwater lake with a prosperous fishing industry with trees, shrubs, and flowers growing on the banks. But the Dead Sea is the saltiest body of water in the world. It has no fish and its banks are bare. The two are different because the Sea of Galilee takes in water and then passes it on through the Jordan River and other streams which keeps its water fresh. In contrast, the Dead Sea takes in the, in the fresh Jordan water, but does not pass it on. It holds the water to itself and thus becomes salty and stagnant. As Christians, we must be like the Sea of Galilee, letting the Father's love flow into our hearts, absorbing it, and then passing it on through various channels. Showing true love does not come naturally. Love is of God. 1 John 4, 7. So we must receive it from God. If we do not keep love flowing freely through our outgoing channels, we will eventually become stagnant and lifeless. The quickest way to stop our overflow is to selfishly focus on our own interests. But if we focus on blessings those around us, as the Sea of Galilee does, we will remain fresh, alive, and blessed in return. Receiving the Father's love, absorbing it, and passing it on is the secret to a joy-filled life. To have joy, we must give it away. One Bible read one year Bible reading plan is Matthew 15, 21 through 39, and Exodus 1 through 3. Sorry, stumbling over my words today. Um, wow, that last sentence is about as close as you can get to the question, what is the meaning of life? Receiving the Father's love, absorbing it, and passing it on is the secret to a joy-filled life. Wow. Yeah, um, we have to... You know, when we read the Bible, we get joy. When we're at church and around uh, like-minded people, we have joy. But we can't just stick with our group that gives us joy. If we don't pass it on into the world, how are some people that don't know that joy going to find it? If we don't share God's word his love um you know we have to share we have to give ourselves freely to others um i mean giving freely to others could be just mean sitting down and taking five minutes and listening to someone's trouble and give them um some advice and then give them a hug afterwards Show them that they are loved. Um, we don't want to keep that all to ourselves or keep that just in our church. Because if we keep it just in the church, it never leaves those four walls, right? So this is just telling us, you know, fill ourselves up with that love and that happiness and then spread it. That's the meaning of that one. Let's just spread God's love and um, keep striving every day to do that. So yeah, I like this one.
So, um, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. And um, I hope you all have a blessed day. And don't get in any trouble because I'm trying not to. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to let you go. If you like these devotions, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, make sure you ring that no notification bell. <clears throat> And then it'll let you know every time I upload a video. And the last thing I have to say is Jesus loves you, and so do I.